Good evening, everyone. Kelsey is off tonight. With back to school season right around the corner, the Maryvale School District is preparing for new students to enroll, including dozens of school aged asylum seekers. News Force Tara Lynch has the details on how the district is getting ready. Tara? Well, Don, Maryvale School says it's preparing for an additional 66 students to enroll in the district this school year. But there are some significant hurdles ahead, including making sure there's enough English, English as a new language teachers. Our main priority is not only to the taxpayers, but to the district teachers and students, whomever those students happen to be. Maryvale School District enrolls about 2,000 students per year, and now they'll be adding 66 school-aged asylum seekers. School Board President James McDermott calls the lack of communication from other leaders frustrating. That just delays us making decisions on how we're going to move forward. Um, you know, these aren't the only students that are here um, in the Erie County area. There are more than 66 students. 66 students just happen to fall into the Maryville district. The district says it must provide an education to all school aged children within the district limits per federal law. Enrollment requirements for students include residency in the district and keeping up to date on vaccinations. We're waiting to enroll them. They haven't been officially enrolled in our district yet. Um, I know the Erie County Department of Health has been uh, working to provide vaccinations. Maryvale Schools says the budget for this school year was already completed and approved, so it will have to cover additional expenses for these students with that money. The district provides free breakfast and lunch for all students as part of a federal program. New bus routes may have to be created to accommodate for the students, too. Town officials hope for extra state funding to add more English as a new language services. So far, the state has not announced any plans to provide additional funding. My understanding is that the English is very limited for a lot of them, so you need to find folks who are speaking Spanish and Portuguese and Russian and Turkish. So whatever language is their home or is their native language, you need somebody that can work with them on that. Maryvale ensures it will provide an education to all students, no matter what. Our concern is uh, to take care of these kids um, and keeping in mind that the kids didn't ask to be put in this uh, position. So I want to make sure that um, we provide them stability and the best education possible and I'll leave the political angle to the politicians. We're told there may be additional school-aged children in other districts in our area, but it's unclear where they will be enrolled. We did reach out to Buffalo Public Schools and Cheektowaga Sloan and have not heard back. For Nun Studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.